Some parents choose their kids to be homeschooled, while some parents want their kids to go to the traditional school. Which one do you think is more preferable way for a kid to be schooled? Oh great, now we have to come up with more days to learn and the teachers will cover the curriculum. Mm, I know, I saw the announcement. It means that we need to spend more money and hours at school. So all of us need to change our schedules. For sure, I'm enjoying the speaking and listening activities, but I, but I want to improve my reading and writing skills. So it will work for me. I'm not sure. You know, I'm volunteering in an organization. And I know some of students are volunteer in the same organization. So we work only on Fridays. We need to change our schedules now. Oh, I see what you mean. You have a very solid reason for that. Okay, I have to change my mind. And you know what? Most of the students, especially international students, travel on weekend to visit their families who are living in other states. They need an extra day off. Ah, oh, I didn't think about that.
Now I want to talk about that an example of altruism can be observed in certain species of primates, such as chimpanzees. Chimpanzees have been observed sharing food with other group members, particularly with individuals who are sick, injured, or unable to find food on their own. This behavior of sharing resources demonstrates altruism because the chimpanzee providing the food does not receive an immediate or direct benefit in return of this action. Another example of altruistic behavior is that certain species of bird like Harris's hawk and fairy grain, individuals known as helpers, assist the breeding pair in various tasks related to offspring. Helpers may help build nests, incubate eggs, feed the chicks, and defend the nest against predators. These helpers often give up their own mating and eating to support breeding pair, thereby exhibiting altruistic behavior. In return, they are not getting anything from the breeding pair. Uh, yesterday we were discussing about anger issues and today I'm gonna discuss about anger displacement. So anger displacement is a psychological defense mechanism in which a person redirects their anger from the original source of the emotion onto a less threatening target. This can happen when individuals feel or are unwilling to express their anger toward the actual cause. People do this often because of the fear of consequences and a sense of powerlessness. Here are two examples which can give you a deep insights about this topic. Workplace anger displacement. Imagine a person experiences frustration and anger due to a difficult conversation with their boss or a challenging project at work. Instead of expressing their anger directly to their boss or addressing the issue constructively, they may release their frustration and anger onto a junior worker or other subordinates at workplace. In this scenario, the anger toward the boss or work situation is displaced onto the junior workers and other colleagues. Another example about this topic is parental anger displacement. Consider a parent who faces stressful situation at home due to financial difficulties or unfair treatment from a partner, but feels unable to express their anger or frustration in those contexts. So they may displace their anger onto their children or other family members. The children become the recipient of anger displacement. In both the examples, anger displacement serves as a coping mechanism that allows individual to manage intense emotion 
by redirecting them from the original source. 